Salam alaikum everyone, welcome to a new episode from your beloved channel Linguamid. Here we have a small scene as we did last time and we are gonna comment on this scene and try to extract the important vocabulary and clarify it all for you. Okay, the scene here is not so long so you can absorb it and one sentence by a time and I'm gonna talk about it and give you the most important vocabulary and phrases and the native way of saying it so keep watching and let's start. As I told you, this is a short scene, uh, the first scene in uh, Finding Ola and here Ola is talking a bit about herself and give you some kind of uh, starting information so that you know what, what, her, her little uh, family and know that she came back uh, in the new episode and so on. A very short um, scene with some small sentences but they are very important and we can yet extract very important vocabulary from it. So just keep watching and let's start. Anagate. So here the first phrase is anagate. Okay, so Ola is saying simply anagate. Okay, anagate is the past sentence of yigi. Okay, yigi to uh, come back, to return, okay, to come simply. So, anagate, I came back, okay, I came back to you. She's saying this because there was an old um, season for this uh, series, and this is a new season, okay? So, she is telling us that she is back. So, anagate, anagate. This is an important sentence. So, anagate, I came back. <laughs> Anagawistu Taban, Umar. Anagawistu, Taban, okay? Yet gawiz in modern in Egyptian uh, dialect is to um, get married, okay? For, which is yet a zawag in modern standard Arabic, but we just switch it a little bit and change it and became yet gawiz instead of yet a zawag, okay? So yet gawiz, yet gawiz, this is a verb to get married, okay? So ana it gawist, this is a past tense. So when I say ana it gawist, to this uh, at the end is a pronoun him okay so i married him ana edgawistu and here it's very important to 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 know also important vocabulary which is of course which is we say taban in egyptian taban of course and also we say ummal ummal these two are two of the most common vocabulary for of course in Egyptian. So when she's saying anagawistu taban ummal, she is emphasizing that she already married him and she is assuring us this. So taban and ummal are like synonyms. So if you hear ummal uh, from an Egyptian, it is of course sure. Okay, anagawistu taban ummal. Uh, I also remind you to um, register for free in my 100% free um, Egyptian Arabic 101 course. This is a course that I prepared uh, as, to give you a background in Egyptian dialect, okay? It's a very basic course, very small course, easy to digest and easy to cover. And it gives you the building blocks and all the, the history and the important information about Egyptian. So are, you are in a very good shape to start a wonderful journey in Egyptian dialect. So make sure to uh, sign up in the course. You will find the sign up link in the first comment and also in the description box below. <laughs> then we have here uh, a very important sentence um, also. Uh, <laughs> Let me break it um, to you. So usually Egyptians, they say um, <laughs> which is we gave birth. Okay. Usually, of course, the, the, the lady is uh, who, who gave birth, but usually Egyptians say we both gave birth. This is also a very interesting and also common way of saying it in Egypt. Okay, so you say khalifna. And sometimes you say also khalift. Okay, so I give birth. But khalifna, me and my partner, my husband, husband uh, it means that we both gave birth birth so this is a casual and also a very common way of saying uh, we we gave birth khalif okay from the verb khalif or yungib in modern standard arabic so we say khalifna in past tense okay so khalifna khalifna and also here walad wa bint 
um, a boy and a girl as you know and wa is and so okay khalifna walad wa bint zay al amr and zay al amr here is very important because zay al amr we say zay al amr in egypt to uh, give an indication that he or she are very beautiful so it's resembling the moon okay zay like al amr the moon okay so khalifna walad wa bint zay al amr wa khalifna walad wa bint zay al amr wa khalifna walad wa bint zay al amr nadia al kabira wa salim mish salim salim okay then ola is saying okay wa khalifna walad wa bint zay al amr this is nadia the girl nadia and salim not salim okay so here a very important also keyword which is mish mish okay mish or sometimes we say mush okay mish or mush mish here is not in english so she is saying salim not salim okay why why this because salim in 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 egypt is more common okay it's more common to 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 name a boy salim but salim is less common much less common so i guess she had many many people to um, calling Uh, him Selim and she don't like it because she called him Selim okay so she's saying Selim not Selim then uh, after this she says okay which is normal in Egypt we say okay of course in international and then um, the last sentence is mabsuta jiddan mabsuta jiddan mabsut is happy Okay, in Egyptian, happy, mabsut. So when I say ana mabsut, I am happy. Ana mabsuta, I am happy. But for female, we add the tight ta, which is the ta marbuta, the teh marbuta at the end. It becomes a mabsuta instead of mabsut. So she is saying mabsuta jiddan. And here, a very important thing that I keep telling my students: not that that she removed I ana. Okay, she is just saying mabsuta jiddan, and this is totally normal for natives because sometimes they remove the pronoun because the way the noun itself is enough, and it's clear that she is talking about herself that she is happy mabsuta jiddan. So uh, I am happy mabsuta, and then jiddan here is very, very in uh, in uh, in uh, Arabic or in Egyptian is jiddan. جدا which is جدا جدا in more standard Arabic but we say جدا okay so أنا مبسوط جدا I'm very happy أنا مبسوطة جدا I'm very happy but for female also you can say uh, أوي instead of جدا so you can say also أنا مبسوط أوي which is very similar which is exactly the same as أنا مبسوط جدا so أوي and جدا means very in Egyptian okay جدا or أوي Okay, that was it for our scene today. A small scene, easy to digest. I hope that you could extract uh, important vocabulary and way of saying uh, phrases, a uh, native way. Okay, a very easy. Um, finding Ola is also a very interesting uh, series. Um, so I am sure that you will like this uh, episode. And so cover it and try to see uh, or try to, to, to uh, listen how she says and how she pronounces the different words. And if you have any difficulty, just drop me a comment. Or if you have any question in general, drop me a comment below. Don't forget to uh, share this episode if you find it useful. Share it to your community. And also like and subscribe uh, to uh, LinguaMeed. Like this episode as well. And if you have any question, as I told you, drop me a comment. So thanks a lot. Uh, look at the description box below. Before I forget, you will find really interesting resources and the sign-up link for the course, for the one-on-one course. Don't forget. And uh, I'm here for you if you have any question. Thanks a lot for your watching and see you in a future episode.